So let's go ahead and talk about this book. Sure. We have Kill Lock Number One mm-hmm. by IDW. This is brought to you by Livio Ramadelli. Mm-hmm. This is the same gentleman that is doing the Transformers books for IDW. Yeah. He's now got an independently thought of robot comic book science fiction thing going on. Absolutely. Both of us read this book. Mm-hmm. Uh, quite frankly, I've really not been a huge fan of a lot of IDW stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a couple titles I do enjoy. Pandemica is one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really didn't know what to expect coming into this book. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you kind of give me a little small rundown of what we have in here? Sure. Uh, so what we find is that there are four characters, that, robots, uh, that are uh, they've been banished to this planet. Uh, they've all been convicted of a crime, mm-hmm. uh, and because of that, they have been programmed with this kill lock programming, which means that if one of them dies, all of them die. Uh, and I think the premise inside the story is the reason why they do this is because one person commits a crime and gets banished to a planet, yeah. they can actually hide inside of the cities or everything. Like, but four people that are tied together yeah. makes it much more difficult for them to hide. And so it makes it more of, more of a punishment. Yeah. And so that's the premise of the story. These four are, have been convicted of a crime and banished to a planet, and they have to deal with this kill lock programming yeah so we were introduced to all four of the characters mm-hmm. all four of the robots mm-hmm. and I'll just from the very beginning it's hard to connect with the robot all right and I'm like when I started reading the book mm-hmm. I was like I didn't care about the characters I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like this book yeah and something happened about halfway through I cared about the characters I actually connected with some of the robots and some of the characters, what they are, uh, for one, convicted of as far as crime. Mm-hmm. And it turns out, and we are going to cover some spoilers in here, full warning, but not everything. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the robots is innocent from what I I take. That's exactly right. And that's the one that I kind of connected with. I was like, oh, that's kind of an interesting little twist, you know. And as far as the other robots, they're, they're different sizes. They're different uh criminals type thing you know one's a drunk one's like a you know military robot or whatnot you mm-hmm. know and uh i found myself caring about the characters i didn't think i was and literally halfway through i was like eh, this one i'm probably not going to enjoy but by the end of the book mm-hmm. i did i thought it was interesting i thought it was a good story and um you know because i want to see what happens because that dynamic of either we Basically, we all survive together or none of us survive at all. Type right, thing. exactly. If one is dead, they're all dead. Exactly. Um, I didn't realize that uh, as far as what I understood, I thought they all had to kind of be close together, but apparently they can roam off as far as they want. But that comes into the trust factor of the book. Exactly. And this book is about trust. Sure it is. And they have to trust one another. Even though they don't really know each other, they're going to have to build that trust Right. And this book is going to be all about that. You know, how, how can we rely on our fellow robot? Mm-hmm. Never thought I'd say that. Right. But you do. And that's how they'll do it to survive. Is that kind of the take that you took? It is the take that I took. And we, when, you, you know, when you get to the end, you know, it, it really sets up for where they're going, mm-hmm. you know, with the story, uh, which is they want to find a cure for this program. Sure. Right. So that they can survive. And so in order to do that, they got to work together. Yeah. And, uh, what intrigued me is exactly what what you just said. You you know, uh, I didn't have a problem with it. Number one, in the, yeah. in the beginning, I think that there are some people who probably will because it's hard to you know connect with a robot. Uh, I've read so much content, <laughs> you know, Transformers being one of them, yeah. where you know I, I just I go with it, and I did I did that with this book. Yeah, once uh, once Optimus Prime died in the Transformers right. movie. I lost all connection to robots. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I mean, I, you know, all the different characters, I, I really liked the, the even the small amount of development that, mm-hmm. you know, the, that the writer gave them. Uh, I loved the soldier. Yeah. I loved the innocent one. And then I loved the, the, the subversive attitude of, yeah. the, the, of the one that's, the, you know, the, probably the worst of the criminals. Yeah. And so I thought you did a really good job with that. And I really liked this. So uh, let me ask you, do you think that, it's a robot world. Do you, I think there's humans around or anything, or do you think it's, uh, you know, is I, this a Wally type thing or what? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Yeah, you know, because there's, I mean, there's no, uh, I, as far as I can remember, after reading this book, 
It doesn't mention any humans or nothing like that, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't no. mention any humans. And as a matter of fact, some of the, the scavengers that show up in the book, mm-hmm. they look like robots as well. Yes. And so, yeah, I mean, as far as, you know, humanoids, living creatures like that, I don't think we've seen anything like that yet. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we're not going to be in the book. We don't know yet. Yeah. Now, the writer of this book is also the artist. Yes. And uh, the artwork is really nice. I liked it. It's it, a beautiful, like, uh, I don't know what, if you, like, uh, uh, almost like, what do you call that? It's painted. It looks painted. painted. Like yeah, it's, painted. it's a painted style almost. Mm. And I thought it flowed really well. I enjoyed the artwork in it, whether it's robots or other stuff, mm-hmm. the scenery and the background. Thought it looked really good. I yeah, liked it. Absolutely, I did too. I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it, it didn't take away from the story. I thought it actually set the tone really well with it. Yeah. Even the action stuff, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the way the the punch flowed yeah. with it, it was really well done. I liked it. Yeah, enjoy the artwork. Like I said, the story at the very beginning, I was like, ah, oh, not gonna like it. But mm-hmm. by the end, I liked it. Yeah. And a side note about this series, and it's in the uh, at the very end, uh, the author kind of leaves a note to the reader. Um, this series is done. Yeah, he, he, he wrote it all already. Yeah, he wrote it like a year ago. I mean, he's got at least six issues. I don't think it's going to go longer than six. I might be wrong. Um, that's kind of up to the audience, to right. be honest. Um, but it's fully done. It's fully developed, you know, and uh, which is kind of nice to know that we won't have any delays. Sure. You know, when this title is coming out. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next one and seeing what happens to the little, little robot. Yeah. Because be. I like the size and the scale of the different robots, the four characters. The one guy, oh, he's a big robot. Then this other one comes up, and he's like three times bigger than this guy. Right. And he just wipes out the these other robots, no problem, type thing. Yeah, I mean, not only did he give them distinct personalities, but the way they look are very yes. distinct as well. Yeah, they all look different type thing, and I, I enjoy that quite a bit. So, yeah. All in all, a good title. kind of caught me off guard. I didn't have very high expectations, mm-hmm. but uh, after reading this book... Um, It's a good one. You should definitely pick it up, guys. I think you won't be disappointed. I'm looking forward to it.